Hey beauties, it is your favorite girl, Jessica Nicole. And as you guys can see from the title, your girl is giving you a story time. So yes, I'm spilling tea today. So yes, y'all can clap in y'all comments. Y'all could be real happy because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. That's why I got the knee up because honey, I'm about to spill something. I ain't spilling that much. I'm lying. And um, this is a fresh story. And um... I still have to come in contact with this person. So they might be really, really upset. And um, I'm here to say I really do not care. Because once you cross me, that's it. A girl had beef with me, she gonna have beef with me forever. Let me stop, because I'm really not like this. I'm really not. So I know you guys are wondering why I'm sitting here with absolutely no makeup on. Like, why is she telling her story time with no makeup? Well, honey, um, my skin went through a lot this week, all right? and i had to give it a rest um i did want to tell you guys some good news i will be working as a beauty artist in the first morphe store in new york city and this week we had to go through training and certifications by the way your girl passed she got certified okay and um yeah i'm super excited to work there as a makeup artist no do not take this as me giving up on my dreams this is just me seeing if there's anything out there for me other than just youtube and freelancing so you know you sometimes you gotta see what's out there and i feel like there is opportunities within morphe that might be there for me we'll see i did pray on it see what god wanted me to do and he still guided me that way so let's see let's see what he has in store so y'all gonna just take me as i am or nothing at all Boom. So, yeah, but before I get into the story time, I want to shout out my gang. I love y'all so, 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 so much. You guys make me so happy. You guys give me reasons to still continue to do YouTube videos, even though YouTube is shady as hell. Just saying. Like always, with every story time, I got a backstory on how I meet people and things like that. So, we're going to name this person. I'm gonna name this person Water. Water. Because I see my water bottle over there. I'm gonna name her Water. So I found Water through another friend. I wanted a new person to perform this service for me and my friend's um thing. I can't say what it is. My friend's a thing that she had done looked really, really, really good. So I was like who did it? Like, where can I find her? And she showed me on Instagram. And I was like, okay. Made an appointment with her. And when I met her to get the service done, we instantly clicked. Um, she's a lot younger than me. So I looked at her like a little sister. Like, I kind of, like, I felt bad for her. So when she was working, I was just like, girl, you got to get out of here. Like, they don't give a damn about you. You got to worry about yourself. Whatever, whatever. She did what I told her. Um, she's actually happy that she did it. I need to cut my nails. Performed the service. She did a great job. And since then, she's been performing the service. So this person has been, but Water has been performing the service for me for, I would say about three, hmm. I would say about like four years, probably three. I can't even like remember right now. But yeah, Water has been performing the service for years. We clicked, we became friends, we even like ended up working together at one point. She is a genuinely sweet person, and I'm not saying that she's not. Now, I still think she is a sweet person. I just think that, you know, people and things happen in life, and it changes your perception of people and the things that you think about people especially when you have that person in your ear so yeah and I'm the type of person and you guys should know that from following me on snapchat and instagram if someone performs a good service I and they are professional I do not mind sending anyone to them I'll even promote them on my snapchat and instagram without even like asking for any money or any promotion fees out of that person like i'll just do it just out of the kindness of my heart and genuinely wanting to see you win and grow 
you know, got closer to her because we had the same values when it came to business. We worked really hard. We were super ambitious. We, you know, ate, slate, ate sleep, drank, lived, whatever we were doing. I'm still that way. I still eat, sleep, drink, everything, those things. If you guys hear anything in the background, that is the television in my living room. Yeah, people in my home listen to the TV really, really loud. So, this person has performance services. Great. We have a great relationship. We even work together. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So, I started to see this person slow down with their business as far as professionalism. Um, I've seen complaints. I've gotten complaints. And I've never said anything. Now, when I get complaints from my sister, I really don't listen because my sister is very, very hard to please. But when I send other friends and my other friends are coming to me and having the same thing that my sister is saying, now I'm just like, okay. I started seeing her slow down with everything she was doing. I was just like, okay. Um, like, you know, I pulled up. I was just like, hey, sis, like, what's going on with you? Are you okay? And the first time I asked her, she was just like, I'm fine. Like, you know, just life. I'll be okay. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I get it. Life happens. I mean, you feel me? You guys hear that from me all the time. When I'm going through something, I turn on this camera and I let y'all know exactly what's going on. I just vent it out because if I keep it locked up inside of me, I will never be able to do what the hell I got to do for me. And I always say, no matter what, you come first. You, if you don't take care of you, then why are you taking care of anyone else? Like, that's how I feel about it. You are super important. Your mental health, your health, everything. You're very, very much so important. I'm not saying don't take care of your kids and things like that. But once you handle those things, make sure at the end of the day that you took care of you. Okay? You're just like, I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm good. So I was like, all right, cool. I left her alone. But then I kept seeing the same things repetitive for like another like two to three months. So I pulled, I said it to her again, like, hey, I see like you're not into what you do anymore. Like, what's going on? And she basically told me like she wants to go back to where she came from because she's not from here. She wants to go back to where she came from. She can't take it no more, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, cool, sis. To me, I was like, it makes no sense to go back to where you came from. You built a life here. You built your business here. Like, it's going to be, you know, you're basically starting your whole life over. And sometimes it doesn't take you moving away to fix what's going on. It takes you stepping back and looking at exactly what's around you and fixing what's around you and starting all over again. And that's what I was trying to explain to her, but I saw that she wasn't hearing. Now, when I was speaking to her the first two times, I was trying to figure out how I can speak to her about exactly what's going on and what I'm hearing but I saw that she's defensive um she if she's not late she's switching your time so say you make an appointment for 12 o'clock or 12 30 sometimes she'll tell you to come for 1 30 sometimes she'll tell you to come for 2 you don't know what happens it, she switches your time if she does switch your time she's switching your day she shows up when like I'll when I was working with her or whatever, people come to shop looking for her, she's not there, like, things like that. Like, things like that is not okay. Me, personally, when I know I have a 12 o'clock appointment, I'm in the shop at 11.30. You don't know if that client's going to show up at 11.45. That's how I look at it. Some people are early for their appointments because they're like, okay, if I show up a little bit early and they have somebody in their chair, they'll be done with this person when they said that they were supposed to take me, so I should be able to go in the chair. That's how I know customers think because that's how I think. I... I'm thinking on the perspective of a consumer, not on the perspective of, of a business person. I am both. You understand? So I understand both ends of what's going on. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on in my voice. So that was their issue. And then I also heard, like, they'll come in with pictures. They're not getting what they want. So first incident that made me, like, pissed off, I sent my sister to her well I've always been sending my sister this has been going to her but I sent my sister to her. my sister called me pissed now I'm her older sister so sometimes I'm just like Shantae shut up and you guys seen Shantae there's a couple videos on here with Shantae y'all seen her before but Shantae called me livid okay honey and I was just like oh girl just <sighs> Um, but she was just like oh I go to her she switched my time like I got things to do today how she gonna switch my time and I'm just like oh my god and then when she got home 
because I was at her house, like, waiting for her to come get, um, waiting for her to come home. I was already at her house, like, with my mom. After she got home, she's like, look at the picture I showed her. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I didn't even get this. Look at, like, look at what I got compared to what I got, like, what, you know, look at what I got compared to the picture. And I'm just like, yeah, I feel you, sis. Like, she was like, I'm done. I'm not going to tell her no more. But again, I felt like my sister was overreactive, whatever the case may be. I understand, like, creative freedom, but I also understand giving the client what they want. I gave her the information for another person that does the same thing that she does and came from actually the same place. They both started at the same place. I was like, here, here's this person. She does work just as good. Her prices are around the same realm. Like, talk to her, go to her. So my sister went to her, I think, like, twice already. So, um... I got another complaint from my homegirl. My homegirl, Carrie, called me. She's just like, yo, like, I can't go to her. I can't go to water no more. Like, water is playing herself. She changed my appointment, like, two times. Like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm about to start going to get this service done in Jersey. And I'm just like, damn. Like, I didn't even want to go to her and be like, yo, like, what are you doing? Because, again, like, I, did, I didn't know how to approach her about the situation. But I also felt like I should have approached her about the situation a long time ago. Past my homegirl Carrie's not going to tell no more. Me and her are working in the same shop. Now, granted, the shop that we were working in, the shop owner was a itch with a capital letter B. But the things that she was saying, the little things that she was saying about the things that she did was a little much. Um so she was complaining about the fact that like people were showing up to the shop looking for her, like waiting for their appointment, and she she didn't even call them to tell them that she wasn't even coming to work, like things like that. And it was insane. Um She'll have clients waiting on her again. So fast forward to recently, where was the last drum? So um, one of you guys, this is what kind of ticked me off, but I never went to her. One of you guys reached out to me. Um, and a couple of you guys always reach out to me when you're like, oh, I'm in New York. I want to get my hair done. I want to get my nails done. I want to get this done. And I always like give you guys information like to people that I know that are good. If you tell me you want braids, I got a girl that does braids for you. If you want weeds, I always tell you for weeds. If you want your nails done this way, you know, I give you guys people Instagram, tell you to reach out. If you want your lashes done, I don't do lashes anymore, but my homegirl does lashes. Like, I know people that do these things, so I'm willing to give you guys this information. And I'm never going to put you guys in chairs of people who are going to mess you up and be unprofessional. So I'm very, very choosy about who I send to you guys. So one of you guys reached out and was like, I'm staying in Queens. I need my hair, my nails, and my lashes done. And I was like, all right, cool. I listed the three people that she could go to, and I listed two more people for, I think, nails and hair. So um, I guess she went to the first three people that I sent, um, and she reached out to me and was just like, hey, um, no disrespect to you, but I just wanted to give you a heads up. Thank you for sending me, sending these people to me, but water i went to water and water was supposed to perform my service at this time and she moved around my appointment twice and i just wanted to let you know like you know i'm kind of unhappy yes i'm happy with the service that she gave me but i'm unhappy that this is how she dealt with the situation and i was upset because um first off you guys know me, but you don't know me personally. Well, kind of, because I don't change who I am on camera, whatever the case may be. I might just throw in a big smile even when I'm sad, but I don't change who I am. Like, who I am on camera, if you meet me in person, this is who I am. Everybody who's met me in person, I'm the same person. I'm giggly. I'm weird. All right. I'm doing a little here and here. I be acting weird. I. This is who I am. You know, if I, it upset me because... You know, you guys trust me enough and trust my judgment enough to ask me, you know, when you come to New York, like, who can I go to to get these services done? And I'm telling you now when I send you guys, to, you guys can't trust me if that's the case. You get what I'm saying? Like, you guys can't trust me probably thinking that I'm professional. Who I'm sending you to, I consider it a reflection of me. I know you guys don't like that. I'm from New York. I talk with my hands. I'm sorry. But... Who I'm sending you to is a reflection of me and what I do and what, you know, if I would be considered unprofessional or not. And I was heartbroken that she wrote me and told me that, but I 
you know, I kind of, I didn't brush it under the rug. I was still pissed, but I was like still trying to figure out ways to approach water about this situation. Now, my very last straw, well, one of my last straws, and I'm going to get into why I let this build up and something about my personality. I sent my cousin. Now, I actually, I didn't send my cousin. I had my birthday party and my cousin was there and water was there and water actually spoke to my cousin and told my cousin to go to her now my cousin know water and i are friends so my cousin was like oh i'm going to water so i told my cousin listen your appointment might be for three o'clock but water could call you right now and tell you don't come until five or don't come until four my cousin called me back when i'm on my way to go pick her up thank god that um where my cousin was is like four blocks from my house so i wasn't really stressed but my cousin called me and was just like look you must be a mind reader you must be psychic because she just told me to come tomorrow now i'm living because i'm just like yo she doesn't know what people have to do with their life like maybe somebody scheduled their entire day around getting this service done maybe this is the only day they have off in order to get the service done you don't know okay everybody has different lives everybody is not like you where you can make a schedule for yourself everybody's not like that you know what i mean so you have to put that into consideration you got people who are teachers you got people who are nurses you got people who are doctors you got people who are flight attendants you know sitting in your chair you got to understand that people do not revolve around you comes my time to go get this service done from water and water changes my appointment i texted her the night before she switched my appointment for an hour later and then called me the next day and switched my appointment for another hour later didn't complain didn't say anything because again fuck me you get what i'm saying because sometimes when i get the service done she tell me don't worry about even paying so fuck me fuck all of that i'm getting my service done and she's rescheduling something somebody while she's doing my service and this day was literally the last straw with me and i kind of wanted to sit her down and speak to her as a friend and explain to her everything and see how she would take it so i, I said to water water goes to me like oh my god i'm switching her appointment and she catching the attitude with me you know I just switched her appointment for 30 minutes. So I'm just like, you know, you don't know what she got to do today. She could have, you know, to go to work. Or she could have to go pick somebody up. Or you don't know. So she's just like, oh, I'm just switching her appointment for 30 minutes. And I'm like, all right, well, here's my thing. It would be something if this was something that was once in a blue with you. But this has been something constant. Honey. I should have never opened my damn mouth, okay? Because <laughs> she went off. Let me remember verbatim what was said so that my words do not be misconstrued. And if she decides to step to me, all right, I'm ready. So she's just like, oh, what do you mean by that? Now, I ain't stupid, okay? I waited until my service was done before I decided to say anything about this, okay? Service is done, I'm good, all right? Before I start talking to her about this. And I'm just like, you know, there's a lot of people that stop coming to you because of these reasons, because of you rescheduling them. She told me she don't reschedule nobody. So I said, you've even rescheduled my sister and my sister stopped coming to you. Carrie stopped coming to you because of these reasons. Like you did it to my cousin. She was just like, well, you know, that day with your cousin, I had something to do. I was like, all right, granted. But this is all the time you even do it to me. But again, fuck me. Don't worry about me. Worry about everybody else. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, she kept trying to, she kept trying to say like, this is not what she does. This guy's control. See it. Um, she kept trying to say that's not what she does. So I have to put her in her place and let her know, like, you know, I even said to subscribe to you and you did that to her. Her answer to that was if anyone asks you to um about appointments with me, tell them I'm booked, meaning I'm not taking no new clients. That's your answer instead of saying, you know what, 
let her know I apologize or I apologize to you, Jessica, for doing that because I never want to put you in those kind of situations. You ain't taking on no clients. Girl, I wasn't sending nobody new to you anyway. Hello? So, after she said that, I was like, all right, I'll see where this conversation is going. So, I'm going to have to give it to you. Come job, baby. You ain't going to like me today, and I don't give a fuck. So, she goes in about how she'll come into the shop for a client, and she'll be sitting down waiting on them, regardless of whatever. I told her, I was like, regardless of whatever. Sometimes I come in here, and I sit down, and I wait, and sometimes I don't even show up. I just got to take it for what it is that comes with the business. I make doctor's appointments and don't show up sometimes. And guess what? The doctor don't call me and say, oh, fuck you. You don't come back to me no more. Or I ain't going to show up to work on time no more because my my um, my patients don't show up to work on, um, show up to their appointments on time. What? Or like she said to me, life happens, you know, um, which life does, and I get it. I mean, my friend asked me to do her makeup one day, and I had the worst migraine I've had in a long time. And I let her know, like, I'm not feeling good. I'm not going to be able to take you. But if I had another person that was not my friend, Red Bull, coffee, um, two ibuprofens, and I would have been over their face. It's a business. Run it as such. You know, it's just like a job. That was her words. It's just like a job. And sometimes you don't show up to work. Or sometimes you call out from work. Yeah, but that's when you're working for someone else. When you're working in a corporate business that they have 10 other people that's doing what the hell you do. And they could cover for you and put somebody else in your space. That's not it. You're working for yourself. Meaning you're the only person that can do that. There's nobody behind you where you can say, all right, well, I ain't coming to work, but I got Keisha that can pick this up. And do what I do and take care of you. I'm sorry I ain't going to be making making it. But I'm going to make sure Keisha take care of you. That's This is not the case. You're the only person that can do this. Her last thing that she said to me that I said I'm done was. Uh, the way I look at it is whoever fucks with me fucks with me. And whoever don't, don't. I'm going to be one of them people that don't fuck with you. How about that? Now, when I said everything to her, I made sure I said everything I had to say and clear it all up. And those things that I was saying was basically the stuff that I was saying to her. And she was not hearing me. And her whole thing about this conversation was, I'm judging her. Now, I never, I said to her, you're like a little sister to me. I'm not saying anything to judge you. I'm not saying anything to the little you. I'm saying these things to help you. I see where your business is going to fail or what you're doing wrong. And I'm telling you this to help you out. You know, you work in a shop where the owner can't even talk to you and is complaining about you. So I'm going to be the one to help you out and talk to you, bitch. Clearly, sis, I can't talk to you either. Now, this whole situation was low-key a shouting match. Like, she was really loud and I was like right here. I wasn't trying to meet her at her level because I'm not shouting with you, baby. Your name is not Keon Taylor. Your name is not Sophia Bradford. Your name she ain't Shantae Wellington. These are the only people I'm going to meet at that level. You feel what I'm saying? People that's going to make sure I'm okay regardless of whatever. So I'm going to meet you down here because if I meet you here and you ain't those three people that I just call, I'm going to punch you in your face. Straight up. You know, it was a shouting match. I was just over her. When I left the shop, I said bye. I wasn't holding any grudges and I wasn't saying anything to be mean. I wasn't saying anything to say I hate her. I was just saying what I said and to me, I was expecting it to roll off her back. For her to hear what I'm saying and say she's going to fix her business. But baby, no. Okay, one thing about me is if we have a issue and we have it face to face because I'm woman enough to come to you face to face and you decide to go everywhere else except for where I met you at, Fuck you. She decides at 12 o'clock in the morning to write on Snapchat. So I blocked her. You know, I didn't even answer what she wrote on Snapchat. None of that. Because I was like, I'm going to be the bigger person. And I got to remember that there's about a five-year gap between our ages. So I should expect this from her. No, no, honey. I guess she realized that I ignored her snap. So she went on Instagram. And wrote something on her business page underneath something. 
And it, of course, it was a subliminal because she doesn't want to seem unprofessional. But she reiterated some of the words that she said to me when we were arguing. So I was like, all right, boo, you blocked on Instagram too. And I seen her recently, but baby, I ain't say nothing to her. And I'm saying this to say, I realize why I don't have certain female friends. And that is because I am someone that's probably going to give it to you cut and dry. And some people don't like that. All right. Y'all could write in the comments if y'all felt I was wrong or right. I know where I was wrong average. Y'all could write in the comments if y'all felt I was wrong or right. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, story time. I'm sorry that I didn't have that much energy. I don't know what's going on with my voice. I got a little bit of a migraine. So I'm about to go drink a little bit of coffee and lay down. I love you guys so much. See you guys in my next video.